This week's video will take a look at ovarian masses for the general surgeon, including a brief overview of ovarian neoplasms and risk reduction strategies for high-risk patients. Adnexal masses can be symptomatic or found incidentally on exam, imaging, or during surgery. Differential diagnosis includes both benign and malignant ovarian tumors, functional and non-functional masses, and extra-ovarian pathology, such as an ectopic pregnancy or tubo-ovarian abscess. Patients can be risk stratified based on age, menopause status, and features of the mass. Most adnexal masses in premenopausal women are associated with reproductive hormones, such as follicular or physiologic cysts. Simple cysts and low-risk lesions are usually thin-walled, anechoic, unilocular, and small in size. There must be a high index of suspicion for ovarian cancer in postmenopausal women with an adnexal mass. Findings concerning for malignancy include solid components, thick septations, colored Doppler flow in the solid component, size greater than 10 centimeters, and presence of ascites or peritoneal masses. If discovered at time of operation, the suspicious mass should be resected with frozen sections for immediate diagnosis, as well as cytologic evaluation of ascites or peritoneal washings. Close attention should be paid to the diaphragm, surface of the liver, pericolic gutters, omentum, and small and large bowel mesenteries. Staging of ovarian cancer is surgical and consists of a unilateral oophorectomy for fertility sparing or total abdominal hysterectomy and BSO if childbearing is complete, lymphadenectomy of pelvic and paraaortic lymph nodes, omentectomy, and peritoneal biopsies and washings. Two important familial syndromes concerning gynecologic malignancies are BRCA1 and 2 and HMPCC. In addition to breast cancer, BRCA1 and 2 carry an estimated 40 to 60 and 10 to 15 percent risk of ovarian cancer respectively. Screening includes a yearly pelvic exam with ultrasound and CA125 level starting at age 25. NCCN guidelines recommend risk reduction BSO upon completion of childbearing. In addition to colorectal cancer, women with HMPCC are at increased risk for endometrial and ovarian cancers. Risk-reducing TAH-BSO can be performed after the completion of childbearing.